Hey guys, in this build log series, I'm making VR shoes. Shoes that allow you to walk in VR, like shown here. I'm working on making a complete detailed build guide for this support rig, then another guide for the VR shoes. So if you're interested in building this rig or the shoes, when they're ready, the guides will be on my hackaday.io profile. So in the last video, I put this all together, but I quickly saw an issue. I used steel tubes for a lot of this and they started to rust and corrode. So for the tubes that had sliding components, I replaced them with aluminum. So this is aluminum, uh, these, two, uh, these three pipes here, and they shouldn't corrode now. And then for the pipes that don't have any sliding parts, like this one down here, or the ones up here, I just painted them. So that was the solution to the corrosion problem, but introducing these aluminum pipes caused another issue. What I found is that this pipe here is not strong enough. It has a lot of play here, and I used the rig for a couple of hours, and I found that this pipe actually bent forward, and it was permanently bent forward until I really pushed it back to bend it straight. So this pipe here is just not strong enough. I'm gonna have to replace this again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this aluminum with this conduit. This is galvanized steel. So it's steel like the first pipes that I had, so it'll be strong enough, but it's galvanized so it won't rust. A few days later, it's all done. I played Half-Life Alex for about an hour and it held up well. It's stronger than the aluminum, so there's not much play here. And this steel conduit is actually cheaper than the other materials I tried before this, so that's a plus. Next, I finally tried the rig out with the upper part of the harness. Up until now, I've been using the bottom part of the climbing harness, the part that goes around my legs and waist. This is what it looks like. I didn't really notice any difference in the way that it felt when walking. I'm still pushing at my hips and I don't really feel the urge or the need to push my chest against the upper part. Running was easier while wearing the upper part. When running, I found that I do actually uh, want to and it helps to lean my chest against the harness. With the harness, I'm still able to breathe just fine even while I'm pushing against it. Crouching is made harder when the upper part is attached. I can't really lean forward when it's attached, so when I crouch, it's harder to go back to a standing position. This is what it looks like without the upper part. I lean forward, shift my weight, and it's easy to return to a standing position. But with the upper part attached, I can't lean forward and shift my weight. So what I end up doing is that I have to spread my feet out further and I have to angle them to the outside so that it's easier for me to push my feet against the floor without having them slip. I think the upper part of the harness is good for beginners in scenarios where you're not crouching very much or if you want to run a lot. I personally don't feel like running very much while I'm playing. Walking is fine the vast majority of the time for me. I can still run even Without the upper part, it's just not quite as easy as walking and it's noisier. Looking ahead for my next support rig, I'm going to make it so that you can lean forward while still wearing the upper part, then the problem with crouching will be gone. I wanna keep these videos to five minutes or less, so that's it for this one. I'll have another one in a week. See you guys.